into those old knives, but not just regular knives, serrated knives and even scissors. Right. Chef Rick Roman is back with us. David, Good to see great you, pal. To see you. Nice to see you. This is something really exciting because what we're going to do is breathe that new life into those old knives. You bought them for a reason, That's right? That's right. You like the knife. The only problem is now it's become dull. Yeah, you know what, David? This is our most fully featured knife sharpener. It's two stage knife sharpener, so you can take any knife in your drawer and make it like brand new. You have tungsten carbide grooves and ceramic coating bars. But then, like you just said, we also added a scissor sharpener. So every craft scissor, fabric scissor, you name it. And then on the other side, an extra large opening. You could even do small garden tools, even a little axe if you wanted to. Oh, wow. But what really separates Sharp Shark is right on the bottom here. Patented suction cup design. So you take this to a smooth countertop like we have here, and you engage this clasp. Now this version of our Sharp Shark is a little larger, so what you do is you push down on this rounded area. Yeah. Then you're going to engage this clasp. So now it's secure, David. So what does that mean? Instead of putting your hand near the blade, which can be dangerous, you can get your hand out of harm's way, and anybody can take any knife, go through stage one, whether it's a large chef's knife like this, a small paring knife, serrated blades like you just said, steak knives. You re-edge the knife with stage one, then you go to stage two here, and guess what? There's a number on the unit that tells you which stage is which and which direction to pull. That fast, any knife, this is a 22-year-old knife from my restaurant and catering business, look at the edge of that blade. It is now razor sharp again. I mean, it looks like the day it came out of the box. So when you go into the kitchen to cut with this, David, the reason it's safe because the knife goes where you tell it to. So we're gonna cut this tomato. Instead of using pressure, which dull knives make you do and make you slip, now you just glide through the food, David, and you get perfect and pure, and I say pure cuts every single time, thick or thin. This is how every single knife can be in your drawer when you have sharp, sharp, sharp as the day it was new. Isn't that great? So now you've got it all coming together at a really phenomenal price. You've also got great colors, and you're not getting one of these. You're getting two of these. That's right. So let's go ahead and take you through color choices and remind you that whatever color you choose, you will receive two. So I've got a set of two in the black, a set of two in the red. Here's a set of two in purple, fewer than 800 in that purple. Here's your set of two blue, and finally our set of two green, and that's most limited how many? 650 it left to go around there. This is 2573. If you're hoping for easy pay tonight and you have a Q card, well, guess what? You've got easy pay. Three of them. So go ahead and utilize that Q card and you can put this on three easy payments tonight. Now, Rick is showing you a serrated bread knife. Now, most people will tell you don't try to sharpen a serrated knife at home because you'll just end up making it a straight edge knife, right? That's right. But this is designed to take care of your serrated as well as your straight edge knives, returning that old bread knife that becomes dull and rips and tears the bread into something that will cut through it beautifully. Yeah, and that's a great shot. You can just see how it's glistening. That is the razor factory edge. I mean, again, you just said it. Every knife's going to get dull at some point in your kitchen. You can take it no matter how dull it is and restore the edge. Now, here's my favorite demonstration, David. A lot of people have what's called a steel in their knife block. Mm -hmm. And a steel to use, first of all, you got to use one hand with the steel, one hand with the knife. Well, that could be really dangerous and you could slip and cut yourself. Sure. The other thing is to get it sharp with a steel, you got to get it just right. If you don't, you'll dull it. So we're going to intentionally dull this knife because I love to show it's what I call the sharp shark challenge. Every knife in your drawer is going to dull as you use it. You can take an old dull knife, and we're going to show you how dull this is. I'm going to actually go here and try to cut a sponge. Well, okay. what you've done is you blunted the blade. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of people, they pull a knife out to prep in the kitchen, right? And what do they do? They start sawing and pushing. And notice how I'm pushing the food, in this case, is a sponge, is moving. I cannot get through this sponge, right? It's completely useless and dangerous unless you have sharp shark. Go to that tungsten carbide groove. That's number one. Yeah. In fact, there's a little one here. I'll just show you. There's little numbers on it to show you. There's a one and a two, but I, it, this is going to be facing you when you do it. So you pull it through. When you pull it through this, David, it's actually going to take metal off the knife. It's going to re-edge the knife. It's going to create that angle. And it's the angle. Now, how many pulls would you go through here? Probably about eight times because this was really dull because I flattened it out. And there's no precise amount. It's usually six to eight passes. And you can feel it, David. And I can feel that the edges come back. So now I'm going to actually use the honing bars. And the honing bars are just a smoothing mechanism to really polish the edge. Yeah. Let's go back to that sponge now. Let's we'll see come if, in for a nice close-up. So let's see if we can cut the sponge from a dull, useless knife. Check this out. And it literally, David, oh. goes through it like a hot knife, as they say, through butter. Now I'm trying to cut a really skinny, Even a little tiny, thin Little, piece. like, sushi-grade sponge. <laughs> <laughs> but that's brand new again now. Let me tell you that we've now taken orders for over five, oh, I beg your pardon, 600 sets. Now, let's take a look at our colors again, reminding you, if you want to pick these up, you're going to get two of whatever color you choose, right? So here's your set of two black. Give you a better shot of that. There we go. Set of two black. Here is your set of two red, most popular. Set of two blue. 
If you want the purple, I have fewer than 700, and if you want the green, 550, that's my most limited color. $25.73. If you're hoping for Easy Pay tonight and you have a Q card, you have Easy Pay, three of them. So when you pay with your Q card, uh, your Q card rather, easy for me to say, uh, what we want you to do is let the operator know you would like to take advantage of Easy Pay, or if you're shopping online, it'll give you that option. And then that way you can put your three Easy Payments. Now, here is how you work with scissors. Yeah, now here's the thing there's a little picture here. Notice there's an arrow, it tells you exactly which direction. You want to have the flat side of your scissor up, and we give you these instructions. And all you're going to do is simply drag them through. And it's the same action. You're actually grinding the metal on the scissor. When you want to do the other side, you flip the scissor over. And these could be kitchen shears. These could be fabric scissors. These could be your craft scissors. But again, I've actually created this right now. You can see that with the angle, this razor sharp edge. So now my scissors are going to cut like the day they were new. You know, scissors are dull too because you're using them to cut through a lot of things. Same thing. Here is something that I don't think a lot of people realize that you can use this for, but boy, is this a lifesaver. How many of you have a food processor at home and you've stopped using it because the blade has become dull? How in Sam Hill are you going to uh, sharpen that food processor blade? This is how. Yeah, and that's a, that's the one thing I. It's one of the many things I love about Sharp Shark is it's so secure because I don't have to hold the sharpener. It gives you that safe and secure feeling that I can actually take, like you just said, something. And you can see how old these are, but now that edge and it's a serrated edge is like brand new. But it's going to cut and chop like you remember the day you got it. Now I will tell you, over 1,100 of these are now gone. We are very, very busy, and a lot of you are starting the new year and you're decluttering your kitchen and you open that drawer and you found all those knives in there. Every time one got a little dull, you'd put it in that drawer because you bought it for a reason. You don't want to throw it away, and you don't want to donate it because you think one day you'll get it sharpened again, right? But if you go to some place and have it professionally sharpened, they're going to charge you an arm and a leg. That's right. Why not pay $25.73 tonight for a set of two of these? Keep one for yourself. Give another away as a gift, maybe to a son or a daughter who's in their first apartment, whatever the case may be. And now you've got an opportunity to treat yourself to breathing new life into those old knives. Because again, you bought them for a reason at some point, you'd like to use them again. Uh, yeah, and again, when the knife is sharp, it glides, David. I don't have to use any pressure. I can just let the knife, I'm not even looking how, just, no, go ahead, you gotta do colors. Look how it just glides right through. So 1,500 of these are now gone. Here's one last color tour. You're getting two of whatever color you order. Here's your set of two black. Set of two red is most popular. Here's your blue. If you want the uh, purple, 600 left, and in that green, now 400 left to go around. $25.73. Mr. Roman, I believe we're going to see you later in the One show. One more. One, One more. more. See you in a bit. All right, pal. Thanks. And I'll check in with Stacy because if it's Wednesday night, it means it's time for Foodie Photo, and that's Ooh. with two Fs.